Hey, it's Brianna and I'm here for Triumphant Tuesdays. This week we are continuing our rotation on acceptance and today I'm going to be talking about body image and flaws and how to cope with bad body image and ultimately how to be more positive. And um, you really have to accept your body how it is and I know that's so much easier said than done and I feel like I'm oversimplifying it and making it seem easy when it's not. It's absolutely not. My body is not perfect at all. Like I can name so many things like I might want to change or really wanted to change in the past. Like I can't say that I want to change my body now, but um, like I said so many times, I have cerebral palsy. My body fails to keep me safe on a number of occasions. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've fallen and gotten really hurt. And I mean, I just did that last week, like completely wiped out on the pavement. So. The whole left side of my body is all banged up and that's pretty normal for me. But I think what's beautiful in that and what makes it easier for me to accept that is the fact that I just get up and keep walking and keep doing whatever I was going to do. And it's really hard it was really hard for me to accept all that, but ultimately you have to. And um just to make an example, like Imagine if you were on the planet all by yourself, like just chilling by yourself. And I know you're thinking, Brianna, this doesn't make sense, but just keep going with this. Um, you're chilling by yourself. Would it really matter if you didn't like your body or your hair was all crazy? Or, you know, you thought something was wrong with it. Would you think something was wrong with it? Because I think a lot of our ideas of what's beautiful come from comparisons, which I talked about last week. Um, so if you were chilling by yourself on the planet, would you really think that all those negative things about your body? So what I'm trying to say is how much of the negativity that we have come from outside sources, whether that be your friends, your family, people you know, the media, how much of that comes from outside sources? And if all that were removed, would you really dislike your body? Would you? It's just a question. How much of this comes from outside sources? And I think to start accepting your body, you have to get past what other people may think and start finding yourself beautiful. Like I said, we're all unique and that is an amazing thing. And we're all created differently for different purposes, but ultimately it leads to comparison because we all are all so unique. But it's also great because we're all beautiful and have different gifts to give to the world. And a lot of your body image flaws, you can't really change. If it's not something you can change, you should really shift your focus to something different. And maybe you can make a list of the things you appreciate that your body can do, or the things that it's been through, or the things that your body has helped you overcome. Honestly, with my eating disorder, like, I can't even believe that I'm still alive, but I am, and I'm just like, wow, I can't believe my body put up with that much, like, I can't believe I'm still here, but I'm still standing, so, I mean, bodies are amazing, and I think you should just try to appreciate yours for what it is. Yeah, we're going to have things that we don't like, but it also helps me to remember that you look at yourself in the mirror every day, so you're going to find things wrong with your body that no one else is going to see. Like, I honestly, I work in a very public place and I'm not focused on what other people's bodies look like or their hair or their makeup or what they're wearing. I'm really not. Unless, I, I mean, sometimes I really like people's clothes, but I'm, I'm not focused on that. So it stands to reason that other people aren't focused on what I look like. And I try to remember what's really important. And what you look like at the end of the day isn't that important. If all your money, your hair, your clothes, your makeup, anything on the outside were stripped away, um, which often happens, things can happen in our lives that take away our outer beauty and things like that. If all of that were taken away, or your really good job, if that were taken away, who would you be? All that would be left is your character and who you actually are. So maybe you can make a list of things that you like about your character and you like about yourself 
or even things you admire in other people if you're not to the point that you can like something about yourself like you could write I really like this particular character trait about my friend or something like that and reach out for support like I said um we are freedom fighters is always here to help and we help as much as we can like if you're reaching out for support and being positive we're more than happy to help you if you need a resource for body image or anything else really we're here to help you um reach out to your friends talk to your therapist about this but you really have to accept who you are because i know this whole rotation is about lady gaga and i love the fact that rachel made it but as lady gaga says you were born this way you can't change how you were born so by learning to accept your body you're able to better work with it for example for me like i need a lot of extra calories because of my cerebral palsy and i have to take more rests and sometimes when i'm working like that's all you can do is go to work but accepting that has made my life so much easier because instead of working against my body i'm working with it and i'm able to enjoy more things so i mean like I said in my first video, sometimes you got to work with what you got. You're only going to get one body and one life and you have what you have. So make the best of it and try to be positive. Um, I'm also always on Twitter. Like I'll put my Twitter link in the bottom bar and you guys can tweet me and I'll be happy to answer back. I love at replies. They're so awesome. I don't know. Um, a couple other girls are always on Twitter. Like I'm sure they'll give you... Their Twitter links too, but we like to talk on Twitter. Um, or my Facebook, but I'm here to help you guys. But I mean, I want you guys to be positive and try to accept yourselves and try to come up with things in your life and you like. Sorry, wow, I can't talk. And realize that there's some things that you can't change. And realize that you're here for a purpose and you're here for a reason and that no one will ever be exactly like you. You're the only you that will ever be, so do your best to embrace that. Um, that's about all I have to say on this. Thank you for watching and have a good week. I'll see you next time. Bye.